Okay, let's take a look. And I'm gonna do this a little different than it's done in the key. And what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewrite the problem as minus, and I'll be careful here, it's gonna be x squared plus eight x, and then minus six, all right? So that's really the same thing that, that they've given me over here. So I got the minus x squared, I got minus eight x plus six. And you complete the square, well, half of eight is, um, is four, so I have to add 16 and subtract 16. Now, if I did that, I wanna point out I get this over here. And I'm just being careful. And that's minus 22. All right, I'm gonna rewrite it. And again, I'm continually rewriting until I see something. And I'm seeing this. What does that give me? It's a perfect square, right? That'll be x plus four squared. And then I get plus 22. Well, what I want to do is just focus in on this thing over here. The, the, um, if I wanted to just get rid of that, I'd say x equals minus 4. But any other number that I choose besides minus 4 is going to make this thing a negative number. And a negative number is going to take away from that 22. So what I'm going to claim over here is that there's going to be a maximum point here. So the maximum value. So the max value is 22, and it occurs when x equals minus 4, all right? Again, you need to think about this over here. You have to think carefully about that over there. If you made that 0 to occur at minus 4, but any other number besides minus 4 would make this a negative number, which would certainly take away from the 22. So 22 is the max value. Let's look at the K, see what they say. They go over here and say, you know, the greatest value that occurs when X equals minus four and is 22, just like we said. Thank you.